Hydrology is the science of water. It is study of the occurrence, character and movement of water within and between the physical and biological components of the environment. The practical application of hydrology is called applied hydrology. Application of hydrology, design and operation of hydraulic structure, water supply, wastewater treatment and disposal, irrigation, drainage, flood control, navigation, erosion and sediment control, salinity control, pollution abatement, recreation use of water, fish and wildlife protection and other uses. The global system that supplies and removes water from our surface is known as hydrologic cycle. Water is transferred to the earth atmosphere through two processes, evaporation and transpiration. As moist air rises and it cools, eventually enough moisture accumulates and causes the droplet or snowflakes precipitation. As they fall on the earth's surface, the droplets either run over the ground into streams and rivers or percolate into the ground to form groundwater. Once the precipitation hits the ground, a number of things can happen. It can evaporate promptly. This is especially true if the surface is hot and impervious. If the soil 
is dry and porous, the precipitate may infiltrate or maybe it only wet the surface, which is called interception, or the precipitation may be trapped in a small depressions. The four factors, evaporation, infiltration, interception, and last one, trapping, that reduce the amount of direct runoff are called abstraction. Steam flow. The water that makes up our streams and rivers is derived from the two sources, direct runoff and groundwater exfiltration or base flow as it is more commonly called. Direct runoff is a consequence of precipitation. Base flow is the dry weather flow that results from sweepers of groundwater out of steam banks. Groundwater. Here you can see the zone of saturation, the earth material filled with water. The water here is known as groundwater. Aquifer, the geologic formation that bears the water. It may be confined and unconfined. Water table aquifer or an unconfined aquifer situation if not confined by an impermeable material. Spring, the place where the water table breaks the ground surface is called a gravity or seepage spring. Capillary frames, the porous material just above the water table may contain water by capillary in the smaller wide space. Parse water table. Lengths of water held above the surrounding water table by an impervious layer. Artesian well. Artesian well. Water in the zone of saturation under a pressure greater than atmosphere that penetrates Artesian formations follows flows above the surface of the land. The water in the well must stand above the top of the aquifer. The richer's area must be at an elevation higher than the bottom of the aquiculate to make the aquifer artesian. Pisimetric surfaces. The aquiculate and confining layer act like walls of a pipe and allow pressure to build up in the aquifer. Lower layers uh, come under pressure from the water that follows. The pressure is proportional to the vertical distance between the recharge area and the bottom of the aquiculate. If the place, if we place small tube, piezometer, into the artesian aquifer along its length, the water pressure will cause water to raise to one place of equilibrium. An imaginary plane drawn through the points of equilibrium is called prismatic surface.